Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Wilboski here with you and I wanted to show everyone something that you can definitely use if you're just starting out on YouTube. It's the YouTube editor and I still use it. If you're on a short budget, you don't really have any money. Well, this is the way to go. And like I said, I've been doing YouTube for about five months. I still use this way because I actually find that it's faster sometimes than some of the other programs. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to upload your video just like normal, any video, 20 minutes long, five minutes long, uh, you know, a two minute montage, doesn't matter. Uh, upload that to YouTube so that it's in your video screen. If you have an intro, upload that individually and your outro, whatever you have, upload it and then it gets on to this screen and make sure that it's fully downloaded. Now, once you have it on here, what you're gonna do, because they just kind of changed up the video editor, so that's why I'm doing this. You're gonna click right here where it says create and first, it's going to take you to the audio library, which is not obviously what you want to use. So you just go down to where it says video editor right underneath audio library. Now it will take you to this screen. And actually, I, I'm working on a project that will be coming out soon. So when you normally get to the screen, it will look exactly like this. OK, so as you can see, it says project my edited video. Uh, and we'll use a short video for kind of an explanation. So I'm going to use my ice bucket challenge. So you can rename the video. So we'll just put Wilboski ice bucket challenge. All right, just because it's a short video. Uh, all right, so what you want to do is you want to find that actual video. And it says right here, you drag any video here and you drag any audio here. If you have separate files, that's why they have these two sections. If they're all in one, you just drag it to the video section. So I'll drag my Ice Bucket Challenge video here. All right. And when you're in here, you can use this as kind of a editor. So you can, if you go down here, you can actually zoom in. And if there's any part that you don't want in there, like, uh, okay, I don't like how I look at the start here. I can just drag this over and I can start the, the video with me making that weird face. So I go split clip here. So it splits it. So now I like to always pause it after. So see, now I can just push this X and that clips it. So now we'll start with me with that weird face, right? So it's just loading and there we go. It starts up. All right, so once you're done kind of doing the edits and you go down here if you want to, you can just scroll over to the side and you can see the rest of the edits. And then once you want to see the whole thing, you just click this all the way to the left. All right, so now we're going to look for an intro and an outro to put on it. All right, so you just go down all your videos and you find something that you want to use as your intro. You know what? I'll use this. This is my Destiny intro. So I'll put that right there. So this is how uh, the video will look right now if I were to uh, were to do it. So see, it's just going. But see, the problem is with the intro is it doesn't really have a good transition, right? It just goes straight to the video. All right, so what you want to do here, I'm going to put the outro in first. So you just find any outro that you have to the end of the video. All right, so I like to have everything that I like, just like that. So there's the intro. There's the video and there's the outro. All right, so as you can see over here, this is where all your videos are. Uh, and this is where you can, uh, you know, remix Creative Commons. This is where you can add photos. This is where you can add music. Uh, this is where the transitions are. We'll get right back to that. And this is where you can add a title or something to put into uh, your video. So what we're gonna focus on right now is transitioning from the intro to the uh, video and from the video to the outro. So you wanna have a nice transition. So, um, you know, why don't we put uh, a star right after the uh, intro here? And you wanna make sure that it is right in between there. It shows up blue just like that. So once it is, you put it in there. All right, so now it will show you, this is what it looks like with that intro. Then we have, Then it will go into the star into my video and look at how much better it looks. See, now that looks really, really nice. So now you can go to your outro, and I really like either the barn door or the wipe. I think it's just a really, really smooth transition, so we'll put it on the outro there. So the one thing to do is when you're in, when you're in it, when it goes like this on the one part, you can't see the whole video. It'll only show that section. So what I do is I click just above it, and then it will start at the start of the video. And then you can just click down here to go near the end of the video. 
So I just click right there and that's where it will start. So now you can see how it will look when it's going out of the video. Here we go. As it just loads up. See? It finishes the video and then it just wipes it across and then it goes straight into your outro. And then once you're done and you're really, really happy with all the edits that you did and you put the transitions and everything, all that you have to do is go up here and push publish. And then it will come to this screen right here. This video is currently being processed. Please uh, check back in a few minutes. It usually takes about 20 minutes depending on the video. It can take up to 45 minutes to an hour. But again, if you don't have an editor yourself, this is a great way to get started and kind of almost work on your editing skills. So as you can see, it's editing my ice bucket challenge. So you just wait and when it's done, all that you do, and you can even uh, start doing it now, you can start, uh, you know, doing your editing. So obviously you don't want it to say I created this video with the YouTube editor. So you just get rid of that and you get rid of the YouTube ta uh, tags and then you just uh, put in your description for the video and put in the tags so that and just hit save changes. And then one. So when you do that, once you once that video is fully processed and uploaded with all the edits, all that you have to do is go to edit one more time. And a screen will come up that will look like uh, like any of the other ones when you upload to YouTube. It will look like this. So we'll just go to this one just so I can show you what it will look like once it finally comes up. It will look like this right here. Right here as you can see. So you can put a playlist and then you make it public. And then once you do that you go down and you go save changes and boom. Your video is on YouTube, edited, and it cost you absolutely nothing. So I really, really hope that this uh, helped you all. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to mess me out on Twitter, at the Big Wolboski, or you can also message me on YouTube. I'm always willing to help. So I really hope that uh, that helped you all. Giddy up and take care.